Ahoy there, matey. Huh? A ghost! Golly, I didn't mean to scare him. Visit Ireland, the Emerald Isle. Land of friendly people. Oh, boy! Friendly people! The Emerald Isle. <laughs> I should have known. Oh, but Mr. McMiser. Come, come, madam. I came for me rent money. But this is all I've got, Mr. McMiser. You'd better get the rest of it up by tomorrow. Or out you go. <gasps> oh. Don't worry, mother. I'll go catch me a leprechaun and claim his pot of gold. I sure would like to meet some of those friendly people. Oh, I got me a leprechaun! Leprechaun? <laughs> I'm no leprechaun. My name is Casper. You're a leprechaun, I caught you, and you're honor bound to give me your crock of gold. Crock of gold? Oh, sure, crock of gold. Of course, why not? Now you just wait right here while I get it. No, none of your tricks, Mr. Leprechaun. Remember, you're honor bound. Now, where would I find a crock of gold? Corn! That's an idea. It sure does look like gold. Oh, wurra, 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 wurra. Oh, wurra, 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 wurra. Great day in the morning. Oh, thank you, Mr. Leprechaun. Now my poor widowed mother will be happy. <laughs> Uh-uh. You're tricky, Leprechaun. You can't sneak out of giving me your crock of gold, and I'm sticking right with you till you do. I remember now. The gold is at the bottom of the lake. Now, mind you, Mr. Leprechaun, none of your tricks. Oh, 
Astrakhan. I demand your crock of gold. <laughs> I'm afraid it's all a mistake, mister. You see, I was only playing leprechaun for the little boy. Oh, g g g g ghost! Take the gold! I don't want it! <laughs> A fine present for me, poor widowed mother. Casper Leprechaun, where are you? Faith, and you sure are a tricky one, Casper Leprechaun. <laughs> snout and sharp teeth. Now do you know what a fox looks like? He looks like you, teacher. <laughs> Hopeless. Just stay in the rear. Don't get lost. And if you see a fox, <laughs> just blow this horn and we'll do the rest. Off to the hunt! Tally ho! <laughs> Snout, sharp teeth. My word, a fox. <laughs> Sorry. 
can't a bloke hibernate in peace? You can blow this horn until you're blue in the face. We are not coming back. Hmm. Not coming back, eh? Hello, stupid. Want to see a fox? Bushy tail, long pointed snout, sharp teeth. By Jove, the fox! <laughs> And now, the fine fox hound. Seven lumps, if you please. Bully for you, boy. Now, Herbert, show the class how you caught the fox. I gave him his tea and seven lumps. <laughs> Duper, triple scoop of strawberry soda with plenty of whipped cream. Yummy, yummy. Sorry, Cousin Hyman. No sodas. Oh, catnip again, eh? Well, don't worry, fellas. Somebody's gonna vacate the premises. And it ain't us. Yeah. 
fellas, the coast is clear. Come and get your ice cream soda. <laughs> My favorite dish, a chocolate-covered mouse. Mmm. <laughs> speaking to me? Yes. Would you mind releasing me? Oh, thank you. Gosh, would you like to see the fair with me? I'd love to. I'll try and win a prize for you, Marilyn. to win a box of candy for you. Look out! 
Abra Cadabra. Attention all ghosts, attention all ghosts. Prepare for Operation Scare. Power to planes, begin takeoffs. to go out and scare people. If you please, sir, I don't like to scare people. I want to be friendly. Friendly? That's insubordination. You're guilty of conduct unbecoming a ghost. I'm stripping you of your wings. And here's your dishonorable discharge. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, I now give you the ghost of the town, Casper. Friendly ghost. If this keeps up, people will never be afraid of us. I've got an idea. Let's pull a scare attack on the television studio. Yeah, yeah. That'll fix Casper. <laughs> without his disguise. And what better witness can you have than an elephant? That's right. An elephant never forgets. Elephants never forget, eh? Well, I'll fix that. Are sure the witness is well protected? Take a look! <laughs> this is really living! Room service for the witness, monsieur. Just a minute. Okay, go right in. Bonjour, monsieur. Your breakfast? May I recommend the fruit, monsieur? It is delicious. 
Vegeta dies. Uh, that's a mighty fine looking apple you have there. Uh, here, officer, you take it. There's plenty more fruit here. Hotel Bob, Sergeant Thursday, send me up for to share the witness. Ah, 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 I must be getting a cold. It's trapped in here. <laughs> I am the house physician. Achoo! I had better take a look at the witness. Bless you. Go right in. Achoo! I will have to give you some medicine. Do I feel better, Doc? I don't need any medicine. Take it. It will cure you. Do I don't want any medicine. Here. No! Come on now. Take your medicine like a good little fella. Here, I'll show you. Why, there's nothing to it. <laughs> there now. <laughs> why, why, you'd think the doc was trying to poison you. Dear, come in. I'm the chambermaid. I brought you this nice, warm, electric blanket. Dear, what do you do with that? Why, you just wrap it around you and then... Did you plug it in? <laughs> hey! Who are you? Don't you remember me bumping into you when I robbed that bank? Gosh, I don't remember. That's all I want to know. Thanks, chum. It's Mike, the Masquerader! You got nothing on me, covers? Oh, yeah? We've got an eyewitness that'll put you behind bars. Ain't this the guy you saw run out of the bank? I don't remember ever seeing him till just now. You don't remember? <laughs> Some witness. An elephant never forgets. <laughs> yeah. I got such a bad memory, I have to keep my memories on a tape recorder. See? Don't you remember me bumping into you when I robbed that bank? Here's one disguise you won't make a quick change out of. Dear, I wonder who those fellas were. be millionaires. Millionaires? Ha! Like the time you heard they made a pen that could ride underwater, and you tried to corner the market on bathing suits. Well, uh, you see, Ethel... Uh... And how about the fortune you were gonna make on this combination golf club and umbrella? Ethel, the trouble with you is you have no faith in my ability. I've got it all up here. And when my ship comes in, you'll be glad you married a brain like me. And don't come back here without a job! Well, I ain't beat yet. All I need is just one good idea. You look like you need a friend, too. Here, pal. Thanks, mister. Uh, did you say uh, thanks, mister? I... I... I guess I did. 
Holy cow! A talking horse! With this, I can make a fortune! Gosh, I didn't know I could talk to people till just now. I just bought you for ten bucks! <laughs> Debbie, you and I are gonna make a million bucks together! <laughs> Ethel, I did it at last! This is the greatest! I just bought a talking horse. Oscar, are you all right? Ethel, I want you to meet Gabby, my talking horse. Gabby, say hello to the missus. Come on, Gabby, come on, say something. Gabby, ha! But Ethel! I'm telling you, he can talk. Why didn't you talk for the missus? Gosh, I tried to, but the words just wouldn't come out. But you're talking now. That's right, I am. Hmm. It seems that the only time I'm able to talk is when I'm alone with you. You just ruined the best idea I ever had. Come on. You're going back to the glue factory. I knew it was too good to last. Hold everything. I'm gonna be rich after all. Huh? Gabby, I'm gonna enter you in that race. But, 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 but I can't run. I've got all I can do to stand up. <laughs> all you have to do is talk to the horses. Talk to the horses? Sure. Does it make any difference to a horse which one of them wins the race? No, I guess not. So, if you told them it was a matter of life and death for you to win, they'd let you come in first, wouldn't they? Hmm. You know, for a human being, you sure got plenty of horse sense. Here you are, Gabby. Eat hearty. And if you need anything else, just give me a ring. What a horse! What a horse! I need money. Cash. We've got to sell everything. Madman, what's come over you? I'm entering Gabby in that race tomorrow. You'll have to carry him there. He's going to talk to the other horses, and they're going to let him win. Should I humor him? And as soon as I hawk all this stuff, I'm selling the house. Oscar Gullible, you're not selling this house. Ethel, we're going to be millionaires. Millionaires! Now listen, fellas, you've just got to let me win this race. Or back to the glue factory I go. <laughs> what difference does it make to you guys if you win? It's the same old trough and the same bag full of oats. But for me, it's my life. Here comes the payload now, Ethel. Boy, what a horse. <laughs> What do you think, Ethel? Oh, my jewels, the furniture, our house. Ethel, how would you like a Swiss chalet in the Alps for a summer home? And they're off. Or how about one of those big castles in merry old England? Uh, and at the finish, it's Rainstorm. Fair Lady second, Slingway fade, and Gabby is still running. What happened? Didn't you talk to the other horses? I, 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 I did, but I don't think they could understand me. Couldn't understand you? Yeah. It seems that ever since I started to talk to humans, I forgot how to talk to horses. You and your talking horse. What bright ideas have you got now to get us out of this mess? Well, say something! Can you 
usually find a friend in the enchanted forest. Dread, I always miss. Say, don't you know it's not nice shooting arrows at people? Well, I'm Red Robin Hood, and I don't like spies in my forest. But I'm not a spy. I'm Casper the Friendly Ghost. A ghost? Yow! Gosh, he was frightened right out of his fright mask. Hold on, Red Robin Hood. I'm a good ghost, and I want to be your friend. Why were you wearing that frightful mask? That was to scare off my enemies. You see, I'm not fierce looking or mean in any way. I can see that. Then why do you have enemies? Well, I'm really a king. You see, my wicked cousin, Sir Wolfley, has stolen my kingdom from me. From now on, I'm the king around here. But I'm the rightful heir to the throne. The crown belongs to a strong man like me. You mean mean, not strong, Sir Wolfley. Have you tried to regain your throne? It's no use. I'm too clumsy with weapons. Well, maybe I can help you get back your kingdom. Gee, that would be wonderful, Casper. I'll call my merry men. I'm Little Don. I'm Al of the Whale. And I'm Friar Floop. I'm glad to know you. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. A ghost! Oh, wait, don't be frightened. Casper's going to help us get my kingdom back. Oh, that's different. First, we'll have to show people you're a better man than Sir Wolfley. But how? I'm no good at anything. Look, Sir Wolfley challenges all comers to a tournament. Where are we going? To the castle. You're going to enter the tournament. But Casper, I can't hit the side of a barn with a bow and arrow. Don't worry, Red. I'll help you win the tournament and regain your crown. A uh halt. -huh. What do you peasants want? Oh, we want to enter the tournament. Ha <laughs> ha, what a chance. Huh? What do you mean? Only royalty can take part in this tournament. Now you beggars beat it. What do we do? We haven't any money to buy princely outfits. I'm going to get you the money to buy proper clothes. First, I'll bump these clouds together. He made it rain. And look, he made a rainbow. Now to find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. My friends and I want new clothes worthy of a king. But of course, sir. challenges all comers to an archery contest. If I'm going to help Red Robin Hood win, I'd better become invisible. Don't worry, I'll be right here when you need me. Uh, I'm scared. So, it's you, Red Robin Hood. <laughs> Listen, Runt, if you can beat me, this crown is yours. I'll shoot first. <laughs> A bull's eye. <laughs> Let's see you beat that. Uh, uh, I'm so n n n nervous, I can hardly hold the bow. He's really going to need my help. <laughs> what are you shooting at? The moon? <laughs> Yippee! Red Robin Hood's arrow split Sir Wolfley's right in hand. I don't believe it. Red Robin Hood, defend yourself. Sorry to disown you, Sir Wolfley, but you made a pledge, and right is stronger than might, you know. Who are you? Casper, the friendly ghost, sir. Ghost? Bah! A trick, no doubt, to rob me of my throne. <laughs> he is a ghost! Thanks, Casper, for helping me regain my throne and crown. Well, I'll be on my way, Robin Hood. Won't you stay and help me rule my kingdom? 
My job is done, Your Majesty. Now yours is beginning. Bye for now. Hello, folks. This is really an exciting premiere. The whole film colony has turned out to welcome a most unusual and appealing movie star, Casper the Friendly Ghost. Here he comes now. Hello, Casper. Would you mind stepping up to the mic and telling your fans how you got your start in animated cartoons? Well, uh, you see, uh, I like animated cartoons very much, and I always wanted to know how they make them. So, I came to Hollywood. some bread. Makes like a mouse sandwich. Yeah, yeah. And the mouse, the rat, makes like this. <laughs> I got the ghost! drawing is made in a different position. Here, watch this. <laughs> You're clever. get on the scene. Say, he's 
friendly. That gives me an idea. Let's feature him in a cartoon, and we'll call it Casper the Friendly Ghost. And that's how I got into animated cartoons. Thank you very much. Now, Casper, it's with the utmost pleasure that we ask you to place your footprint with those of the great stars of the screen. A ghost's foot doesn't print. of you, young man. Oh, dear. Thank you, Sunny. My, what will those toy manufacturers think up next? Just a minute, young fella. Don't you know you're supposed to be in school? I'm the truant officer. Now, you come along with me. All you kids are alike, playing spaceman instead of learning your ABCs. Now, children, there will be a ten-minute study period. <laughs> Who wants to study when you can have some fun, huh? how well you studied. How much is two plus three? Hmm. Well, if you added them all up together like, that would be two plus three, and if you carry the two, that comes to the... Gee, why does she always have to give me the tough ones? Here's a little fellow I found playing hooky. Now, young man, since you missed this morning's arithmetic lesson, you think you could do this problem? was excellent. You may take the seat at the head of the class. Why, that big show-off! Nobody's gonna be smarter than me. Get off of there, pipsqueak. Now start pushing if you know what's good for you. 
for you. children certainly have grown since recess. And where is that child who was wearing the space suit? Hey, teacher, look! A flying saucer! Oh, my! Let's move in. Move in? <laughs> I uh, said something funny? Yeah. If you go in there, you'll come out so fast, you'll knock yourself down going in. They got a dog? Nah. A ghost. You're crazy. There ain't no such thing as a ghost. Well, Walter Wowie thought otherwise. Uh, who's Walter Wowie? Uh, he runs a real estate office in town. One day, a fellow comes into the office and says, My name is McGregor. I would like to find a tenant for my house. Oh, what sort of house is it? Mansion, 31 rooms, 15 baths, 100 acres. Type of tenant desired? Ghost. How do you spell that, please? G-H-O-S-T. <gasps> You're, 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 you're serious about, about this? I am. Oh, 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 one moment, please. <laughs> ah! But, Mr. Wowie, did you realize what he said? This man is the crackpot. A ghost for a tenant. It's the craziest thing I ever heard. Tag Nabbit, did you ask him what type of ghost? Male, female, old, young, fat, thin? Miss Mildew, we have a client outside, and you're keeping him waiting. But, Mr. Wowie, how do we find him a ghost? Remember our motto, Miss Mildew? A man wants a ghost for a tenant? We find him a ghost. You see, Mr. Wowie, I am going to Scotland for a visit. A ghost in my house would keep people from breaking in. By Godfrey, that's right. A ghost will be better than a caretaker. Exactly. And since the ghost would be doing me a service, he may live in the house rent-free. That's a mighty fine proposition for a ghost, Mr. McGregor. Mighty fine. The question is, can you find me a ghost? You're doggone tootin' again. Very good. I shall sail with a clear mind. Bon voyage! He's crazy! He's a client. How are we going to find a ghost? Why, we advertise, Miss Mildew! Advertise! Ah! Help! Help! Oh, you're crazy too, Mr. Wowie! Morning, sister. Ah! In reference to your ad in the morning paper... Oh, 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 oh. I understand you're looking for a real 100% genuine ghost to live in a mansion. Now, don't tell me you're a ghost. No, but it could be arranged. Ah! <gasps> Mr. Wowie.
Joey. There's no such thing as a ghost, and you know it. Ah, but if there were ghosts, where would you find them? Why, uh, in a haunted house. Precisely. Hello there. Anybody home? Blame it. Come on out. I've got a business proposition for you. Boo? Howdy. Uh, ain't you scared? Scared? <laughs> You're nothing but a ghost. Uh, I must be slipping. Now let's get down to business. You know the mansion on the north side? Uh, yeah. Nice place. Well, it needs a ghost to haunt it. Think you could do the job? Could I? Just try me. Not so fast, young fella. How long have you been in this haunting racket? More than 50 years. See my hash marks? Well, I don't know. I'd like someone with a little more experience, say, with at least 100 years under his shroud. Please, please, you don't know what the housing shortage is for us ghosts today. Look, the, the roof leaks. The, the windows are broken. I'm f f f freezing all winter. Please, <laughs> give me a chance. Well, all right, Johnny. I'll put you on probation. Yahoo! Thanks. And that's how the McGregor Mansion was rather to a ghost. Very cute. You scare away all the Lodge brothers and keep this cozy little shack all to yourself. <laughs> Great story, buddy. But there's one itsy-bitsy thing wrong with it. Yeah? What's that? Very simple. There ain't no such thing as a ghost. No, you could be right at that. Without doing it in here, too? We just stymed his reading of Mother Goose. Give me my book. Hey, guys, how about us paying these Mother Goose characters a frightful visit? A ghoul idea. Thanks for the inspiration, Casper. I've got to go to Mother Goose Land and see what I can do. Mother Gooseland. Good folks, welcome. <laughs> Golly, sounds like someone's in trouble. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Can I help you? I'm little Bo Peep. I've lost my sheep. Three horrid ghosts scared them away. I should have known. <laughs> That's little boy Blue. The ghost opened the gate and let out his sheep and cow. Listen, it's coming from the top of the hill. Why, it's Jack and Jill. Gosh, we're sorry it got splashed. Oh, that's all right. What happened? Three ghosts scared us by the well. Yes, mean ghosts. Yow! Uh-oh, sounds like more trouble. Bye now. Why, it's Jack Be Nimble. What happened, Jack? Well, just as I was going to jump over the candlestick, well... I know the rest. Those bad ghosts booed you. I'll say they booed me. I never jumped so high before. And when I came down, I tore my pants on the candlestick handle. Gosh. Do you know someone who could sew you up? Sure. A girlfriend of mine. Let's go see her now. Okay, let's. Boy, am I mad. Lily? 
tell Miss Muffet we were just coming over to visit you. Visit me? I've been visited already. Three horrible ghosts scared me off my tuffet and then stole my curds and whey. I'm furious. Curds and whey? What's that? Oh, just some milky water and cheese. <sighs> this stuff ain't very filling. Well, we got it for nothing. What's next on the scare program? We gotta find someone to scare soon, or we're gonna lose our ability. Characters of Mother Goose Land, I've called you all together to hear Casper's plan. My friends, this is my plan. If you all try your best not to appear scared when the ghostly trio come to scare you, they may give up and go home. Sounds good. We'll try it. It might work. I just hope they don't come to me. I might get awfully scared. Land sakes. Me too. Now who can we scan? Hey, look. The black mouse. <laughs> scanned the clock and the mouse couldn't be wider. No, 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 sorry, Casper. I wasn't the least bit scared. Well, they won't scare me. <gasps> If you don't think of something to drive away those ghosts, I just don't know what we'll do. I have another idea, but I must get a friend to help us. Don't be away long. Wendy, I need your help in Mother Goose Land. The ghostly trio are raising mischief there. But what can I do, Casper? Use your magic powers. I learned once the ghosts are afraid of giants. This is Wendy, a good little witch girl. May she borrow your goose to make a little switch? Of course she may. A switch? Boop. Abracadabra, half a quart is a pint. But now I'll change a goose into a big friendly giant. At your service, Wendy. This is gonna be our biggest scare. Howdy, fellas. A giant! A lake! There's no boat here! Only this old tub! The tub has a hole in it! How stupid can we get? We forgot we can fly! Come back and visit us soon. Thank you, Casper and Wendy. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thanks for your autographed book of Mother Goose stories. Bye!